So now we come to part 8 of the SPSS Statistics Tips and Tricks series. And this time we're looking at creating charts from output. And this is a particularly useful procedure if you're trying to create charts which are otherwise difficult to generate using the standard charting facilities within SPSS. In order to activate it, you really need to double click on a piece of output and then right click and call up the Create Graph submenu. And let's have a look at exactly how that's done. So the example I'm going to show here is one where we create some tabular output which allows us to create a graph that reflects the median uh, beginning salary of employees as well as the median current salary of employees broken down by different age groups and represented as a bar chart. So step one in this process is to create the analytical output, that's the tabular output, that's going to allow us to create the chart. So I would normally, for this sort of uh, problem, go to analyze and generate uh, a mean, means or medians broken down by different groups using the compare means means procedure. If I call up the dialog box for that, I'll just put in beginning salary in the dependent list and uh, current salary, which is just called salary, into the dependent list and then put age group into the independent list. And that will generate a table of means for me with some extra statistics. If I look in the options here, you can see the statistics it's going to generate. Well, I don't really want these statistics. I just want the median values. So I can throw them out and then just choose uh, median and put that in. Then click continue and OK. And that generates a table for me. Now, for whatever reason, let's say I want to include the total. Let's say that's a base of some sort. So there are various things I could do. I could change this to the word base. And then I could, um, by again, double clicking to activate it, I could move base up to the top. So it's the first uh, category that's appearing. And then if I highlight each of the cells, right click on it, click create graph, bar, and it generates the chart for me. You can see here that each um, age group has a different color and the base is a different color. We can either double click on this and edit them individually. So we can go into the properties windows here and say, okay, let's show you the properties of this particular uh, bar, and change the colors, etc. If we don't like the colors that's included here, so we can change this to a different color. Or alternative, if you've, if you've already done that, you can actually use a chart template. So if I go here and say, I want to apply a chart template, and I'll just show you where I've put this up in C temp again. little template here called Dante 2 and it applies it for me and there we have it. 